everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and it's our daily inspiration card. For personal readings or any lives that I am doing, all that information is in the description box below. Currently, as of the recording of this video, I have a live coming up on the 8th and on the 13th. I hope it's the 13th. In my head, it's the 13th. I keep saying the 13th. If that's wrong, it'll be right in the description box, I promise, okay? But one is going to be on current events and the energy behind it and anything that might be coming up that we need to be aware of. It's not predictive. It's more about here's what the collective energy could be heading towards and this is how you can get prepared. It's not conspiracy theory. It's not fearful. It's just awareness, okay? There's that. And then, of course, the other one is on Archangel Metatron. Do not miss out on that one. Metatron is one of those archangels that everybody's fascinated by. So, <laughs> and believe it or not, we do have, I, I think I set it for 44 seats. So we should be okay. Um, but make sure you get in there. Metatron's going to be a popular one. So there's that. All right. What do we have? Knight of Michael. Wor your worry is unnecessary. Focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire. Release feelings of regret, guilt, or worry to your angels. We're going through this major transformation, major transformation. And I think a lot of us are going to start panicking, trying to hold on to the old way. I know I've done that, you know, no, I, I, I've been living in Colorado Springs for several years now. No, I've been in this apartment for several years. No, I've done this this way for so many years. I'm too afraid to try something new. Because every time I do, it seems like I just waste energy. Or if I move again, will I land in a worse situation? And I certainly don't want that, you know. So this is that kind of thing of being afraid of allowing something new to come in. This is also a lot of fear. At least here in the United States, I'm in the U.S., so that's what I can speak to. If you're somewhere else in the world, please let me know what's going on in, in your part of the world. But... Here there's talk of food shortages coming up, especially for 2023. You know, obviously we have a lot of problems with, um, I guess, be careful with what I say here, but people acting out, let's say, um, you know, water. People in Mississippi don't even have water right now. I know in Pakistan, I believe it's Pakistan, right, where they're also having floods and um yeah, just it's just these horrible, horrible things are going on. And so our you know, here going back to the US here, we have economic problems as well. And as I say that the fire alarms are going off. <laughs> I have a fire station next to me. Um, God bless whoever is being affected right now and the people who help them. Amen. Uh so yeah, this is feeling maybe uh fearful about the housing market, finances, companies that would be hiring for higher level executive positions. They're, well, it's actually the middle positions, middle career positions and higher, you know what I'm saying? So if, if you're just starting out in your career, you can probably find a job. But it's getting harder and harder for people to find work in the field that they're trained in and at the level that they're at. People are getting afraid and shutting down, uh, you know, not doing any new hiring. It's very reminiscent of 2008 where everybody was on hiring freezes and things like that. So there's a lot of sitting up at night and worrying or as we transform, worrying that we missed our shot with the real love of our life or worrying that we mistreated someone or, um, you know, maybe that you feel like that door's closed and you can't talk to them anymore or um, another energy that's coming up here being fearful that someone that you don't want coming back is coming back. Now, don't don't litter the comments with the oh my god I don't want my boyfriend to come back oh he was so handle your stuff but you don't like that comment it you get the clown emoji breaking out the clown emoji <laughs> I ain't afraid whatever okay so the sign of Michael is definitely saying just that just that like how many times have I sat down to record a video afraid that someone's not gonna like what I had to say and the whole time I had the clown emoji to use. I could have used it. We don't need to be afraid anymore, guys. We don't need to worry and, and try to manipulate and control things because we're so afraid that if we let our walls down, something's going to get us. Put that energy into being you, to speaking your truth, and being unapologetic. We're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.